Hello and welcome uh, to another uh, Django tutorial. And uh, in our previous video, we were able to create the blog models, uh, the blog related models. And uh, we created two models, which are which is the blog category and the blog posts. And in this tutorial, we are going to work on the views and the URLs. So I'm just going to open the views. And uh, initially, when we were starting this tutorial, we created this view that is called the blog article view. Uh, but we are going to uh, replace it in this blog page view. So uh, we are basically going to use what you call the class-based views, as you see here. These are class-based views as opposed to the function-based views. And uh, this is because the class-based views, are, I could say they are easier to implement and they're usually straightforward. Uh, the function-based views can get a bit complicated and, uh, you know, have probably long chunks of code. And uh, at times you may find that you're not respecting the, the uh, simple, you know, like the function is doing so multiple things uh, as opposed to uh, just doing it within these uh, class-based view. So we'll have the... Inside these generic views or generic, we had imported the template view, and we are going to add a list view and also the detailed view and uh, or the detail view. So the list view uh, will be handling the display of the posts, all the blog posts that are in our uh, database, and then. All the, all the posts that yeah in the database and then the detail view will be in charge or will be handling uh, the display of uh, or the uh, querying of the a single post from this pool of this list of many blog posts. Uh, so we will uh, quickly go into this uh, class. Let me uncomment it and um, going to. Call it. I'm actually going to change this name. I'm going to call this blog uh, list view, and then I'm also going to change this. I'm going to call it blog uh, detail detail view detail view, and I'm going to uh, inherit the list view in this. For this other one, I'm going to inherit the detail detail view. So the templates, I'm going to create these templates and I'm going to call this template the blog, uh, call them blog articles or blog posts. Blog posts. And for this one, I can call it the blog article so that they can be, we can be able to distinguish uh, them. So let's start with the list view. Uh, we have this because we have not inside our templates folder. We have this warning because we do not, those templates do not exist uh, in the blog. So our other import that we are going to use are going to be, uh, okay, we have actually worked on all the imports, which the two imports, list view and the detail view. So in the list view, we need to specify the model, uh, which is uh, actually of here. Yeah, we have forgotten to import the model. So I'm just, I'm just going to work with blog posts. So the model is a uh, blog post. And the other item that we are going to use, I'm going to specify why is what you call the context object name. The context object name we will call it uh, blog posts. So in order to deal with this warning, we are going to create the template. So as it is, if I probably come and into my website and try to, you can see we have a. Uh, this is this could indicate that we have an issue. So let me check the Docker logs. Oops. 
as you can see, seeing from views import home and this. So this is in the URLs. As you can see, it is uh, they are actually bound uh, bound. So I need to correct this. Call it blog. List view for now. List view, and I think I'm also going to add the other URL, which will be blog. Uh, detail view. I'm also going to import it here. So you can see it is with Docker, it's easier to be able to, the logs rather, to check uh, whatever is happening. You can see now it does not have any errors. So I'm just going to probably add this into a tuple. Set each import on its own line. Yeah, so I'm also going to update this. So we have this, which is the blog posts. I'm going to use blog posts. And for this one, I'm going to call it blog article. So for all these blog posts, this is what is going to be displayed in the whenever you click on the or you click on the blog. And then for the article, we are going to have blog. And the, remember the article, uh, whatever we created in the model. So we have the unique field, which how can we be able to access uh, one uh, blog? It's using these, the UUID field. So in this case, I'm going to add after these uh, posts. And then I, can, I will add the UUID and the primary key. I'm going to close it. So this is what we have. Uh, if you look at the logs, we still have errors and errors. And it says that the template does not exist. So we are going to go back to our views and then it is necessary that we create these two templates. Because if we don't, if we do not do it, this is what we get. So the blog post in this .html does not exist. Uh, then, so let's create them. So inside our, we are going to refactor this blog. I'm going to rename it into blog posts. And you'll notice that the warning has gone, and then we are going to add a new HTML file. And I'm going to call it blog article.html. Yeah, we can add it to the. Okay, so we have the blog article and the blog posts. So let's try and do a refresh. Yeah, so. This, we have an issue inside the base.html. This is because we have changed the URL name. So I'm also going to go into the base.html wherever I've created blog. So I'm going to call it blog posts. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so this is our blog page. So it is still blank. And uh, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to create some sample blog posts. Okay, we have some something here. It is saying the reverse for blog is not found. Okay, so this is we have it created a reverse blog article, so we need it needs to correspond to the blog posts. Yeah, as you can see now, we do not have errors. So this reverse actually points to these, uh, these all the pages for the all the posts uh, that are inside these uh, models. So we are going, we are now going to create the posts, and I'm going to log in as admin. Uh, so let me try logging in. 
here. So you'll see that we do not have the blog posts here. This is because we have not registered it into the admin. So I'm going to access this admin. I'm just going to copy, import the post model. I'm also going to import the blog post category. And I'm going to copy, copy this and paste it here. I'm going to call this blog post and then it will be blog post admin and uh, for this I'm going to display the title and uh, let me look at the another field that I'm going to display I can also refer to the author yeah I'm going to refer to the author for now, I'm just going to set those two, or I could add another one, additional uh, page, or additional, uh, which could be, let's say I could also add category. And then I will add a comma at the end, because it's a tuple, but you can also limit out, I think, I guess so. So I'm going to, Add this uh, the blog category. And this will be blog category admin. And then for the categories, we'll use the following fields. We can add the title. Yeah, we can just leave it the title alone only. So whenever we have edited, we can refresh our page. You'll see that now we have blog posts and blog posts uh, categories. So let's begin by creating some categories. And I will call the first category tech. Then I will say, I can also add another one. Uh, probably I can call it poetry. And I can also add another one which I can I can call it other. Uh, so we have three categories, tech, poetry, and other. And you can see the way it displays here. It only displays this in this, uh, the title in this field. So this is because of this uh, statement here. Then we are going to edit, create now blog posts. So let's add our first blog posts. And you'll see that in this body, we have this kind of a field here. So this field is what you, uh, this is a Django C, work of the Django CK editor. And it, uh, it is a rich, uh, the rich texts uh, field. It's a rich text field that we created in the models.py file. So we can add our title. You can call it Python for the editor I'll set this jQuery dev. And for the body, can probably say Python is a awesome programming language used in various uh, domains of technology. It was, I don't know whether invented is the right word, it was invented by uh, Guido uh, Van Rossum and released in 1991. Uh, it is being, uh, I don't know, it is being maintained by the Python Software Foundation, uh, by PSF. Yeah, and then I can close it. Uh, let me create, correct that. The good thing with this CK editor, you can be able to customize some texts. Uh, you, know, you can set these as paragraph or formatted. Uh, then I can also be able to add an, a link. So in this case, I can try and find the link for the software. Foundation 
yeah so i can copy this url and add it in my probably highlight this text here and add this it's not very clear here because of my dark theme but yeah it still does the work you can see it has corrected you can add ftp and other links as well so just click ok and below it i can probably i can copy some text here and then paste it here yeah and then i'll below here i can add some image uh let me look up for the for this image open image in a new tab so I'll copy this and i can paste the python logo same here and i'll click ok and you can see how it appears so i can also do some uh highlight let me highlight this you can also highlight text or change the for uh, the color rather you can switch it back to automatic i can also yeah create uh, highlight some color you can add a color highlight and finally i can also be able to add some emojis so i find this ck editor to be a very interesting uh, library so i'll can update this to the current time and then i can put it in tech category and i can set it as published and i can save so we have our first post so i'm going to add many additional posts and then we're going to resume with the tutorial